Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about Queen Victoria's nine children. The eldest child of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert was Victoria Adelaide Mary Louisa, or Vicky as her family called her. Her official title was Victoria Princess Royal. She was very intelligent and received a good education. She was fluent in French, German and English by the age of five. She got on well with her sister Alice, but not so much her brother Bertie. When Vicky was 18, she married Prince Frederick William of Prussia and went to live with him in Germany. They had eight children together. When Vicky's husband was crowned the German Emperor and King of Prussia, she became the Empress of Germany and the Queen of Prussia. But Frederick III only reigned for 99 days before he died. Vicky's eldest son, Wilhelm, then became German Emperor and King of Prussia, but he was the last to reign until Germany's defeat in World War I. Vicky died in 1901 at the age of 60 of breast cancer, a few months after the death of her mother. Albert Edward, or Bertie as his family called him, was the eldest son of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert, and the first in line of the throne. He was born in 1841. He wasn't as confident and intelligent as his siblings and was a bad behaved and mischievous child. He had a bad temper and was separated from the other children and put on a strict education program to prepare him to be king. When Prince Albert died of typhoid, Victoria blamed Bertie for it and could not bear to have him near her. Victoria and Bertie never really had a close relationship and Victoria did not allow him to have an active role in running the country. In 1863, Bertie married Princess Alexandra of Denmark and together they had six children. Bertie spent a lot of his time partying and took several mistresses. When his mother died, Bertie became King Edward VII of England. Alice was the second daughter. She was born in 1843. She was kind, caring and charming and got on well with her siblings. She nursed her father in his final days and comforted her mother following his death. In 1862, Princess Alice married the German Prince Louis of Hesse and moved to live with him in Germany. They had seven children together. Alice became interested in nursing and helped care for soldiers. In 1873, Alice's youngest son died at the age of two after he fell from a window. He initially survived the fall, but died later of internal bleeding. He suffered from haemophilia, so his internal bleeding could not be stopped. Alice never recovered from her son's death. In 1878, Alice's household fell ill with diphtheria and her youngest daughter Marie died. Later, Alice also died from the disease on the 14th of December, the same date as her father. She was the first child of Queen Victoria to die and was only 35 years old. Alfred, or Affy, as his family called him, was born in 1844 and was Victoria's second son. He was the most mischievous of the children and was always getting into trouble. At the age of 14, Affy joined the Royal Navy, and then when he was 21, he became the captain of the ship HMS Galatea. In 1874, Alfred married Grand Duchess Maria Alexandrova of Russia. They lived in London and had five children together. Affy lost his only son, Prince Alfred, when he was 24. Circumstances of his death are unknown, but Affy was devastated. Affy died at the age of 55 before his mother of throat cancer in 1900. Victoria died six months after Affy. Princess Helena was Victoria's third daughter, born in 1846. She was a tomboy and the toughest of the girls. She stood up for herself and her siblings. In 1866, Princess Helena married the German Prince Christian of schleswig holstein Victoria wanted Helena to remain with her, so the couple moved into a country house in Windsor Great Park. The couple were happily married and had seven children, but sadly one son died a few days after birth and another son was stillborn. Helena had an interest in nursing and became a founding member of the British Red Cross. Helena died in 1923, aged 77. Louise was Victoria's fourth daughter. She was born in 1848. She was considered the most beautiful of Queen Victoria's children. She was intelligent, witty, and a bit of a naughty child. She was a very talented painter and sculptor. In 1871, Louise married John Campbell. 
It was surprising at the time that Louise was not marrying a prince, but Queen Victoria thought the marriage would prove popular. In 1878, Louise and John moved to Canada, but they returned back to England in 1883, and Louise focused on her work for women's rights. In 1893, she completed her most famous artwork, which is the statue of Queen Victoria, which stands at Kensington Palace. Louise and John had no children, and Louise died in 1939 at the age of 91. Arthur was Victoria's third son and her favourite of her children. He was born in 1850. Arthur was the best behaved of the children. At the age of 16, he attended the Royal Military College and later he became a lieutenant in the British Army. In 1879, Arthur married Princess Louise Margaret of Prussia and had three children together. In 1911, Arthur was appointed the first Governor General of Canada and went to live in Canada for several years. Arthur lived a long life, dying in 1942, aged 91. Leopold was born in 1853. He was Victoria's fourth and youngest son. He was born with haemophilia, which is a condition that affects the blood's ability to clot, which means they bleed for longer than usual. Because of his condition, Leopold spent much of his childhood alone, being told he could not play with his siblings, although he was very close with his older sister Louise. Leopold attended Oxford University. At first, Victoria did not want him to attend university because she wanted him to stay with her and also thought he was too ill to attend the school but she later agreed to allow him to attend university and he also toured the US and Canada with his older sister Louise. Leopold married Helena of Waldeck and Piermont. They had two children together, a daughter named Alice and a son named Charles Edward but sadly Leopold died before the birth of his son. Leopold took a fall and died at the age of 31. Beatrice was born in 1857. She was Victoria's fifth daughter and youngest child. She was known as Baby and was treated less strictly than her siblings and was more spoiled. Beatrice was four when her father died and Victoria used her as a comfort. They became very close and Victoria wanted Beatrice to remain with her and never marry. But Beatrice fell in love with Prince Henry of Battenberg and wanted to marry him. Victoria was not happy and first forbade the marriage, but she eventually allowed it on the condition that they would stay living with her. Beatrice and Henry had four children together. When Victoria died, Beatrice was devastated. She had remained with her mother even during her final years. Beatrice died in 1944 at the age of 87. If you want to learn more about Victoria's children and you find this kind of thing really interesting, then I recommend that you watch Queen Victoria and her nine children on Netflix. I watched that not long ago and I just found it so interesting. It's a three part documentary series and it's about Victoria and her children and about how she was with them after the death of Albert and it's just really fascinating. You learn about a different side of Victoria as well as all her children. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!